Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Ka Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakah Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the Akim teaching about the Mayan Wahamat. That's in sincerity and truth. It's the brother Yachas Akim, Great Millstone, Dallas. And uh, I just want to uh, go ahead and uh, get my response in to the uh, Rusty Plow Award winner. Uh, Elder Quinath, yeah, from Fopi, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, basically, the apostles and elders have been uh, uh, going into the scriptures and pretty much marking this man uh for causing division. And you know, when you in, you when you've been in this thing for a while and you understand what to look for when it comes to uh who to learn from, who not to learn from, who's sincere, who's not sincere. You know, the scriptures talk about marking the perfect man and things of that nature. And once you've uh, successfully identified the perfect man, you're supposed to wear out his doorstep so that you can continue to be fed. Right. Here it is. Uh, Yahweh Shai told Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my lambs. And he had he had Peter to say it three times to show him the importance of feeding the sheep and, 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 and feeding the flock. Well. Then you also have the parable of the wise versions versus the foolish versions. You have the parable of the uh the 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 the, the seed the seed landing on stony ground, right? All these are different metaphors going into having a full understanding and what you do with that understanding, and not having a full understanding and what you do with that lack of understanding. Uh, Elder Quinoth of Fopi, he shows a lack of understanding. You know, he has a he a, he has a he has it in his mind that he can do the work whenever he pleases. Um, it's amazing to me how you can be an elder uh, within three or four years when you were supposed to be born again. Uh, that's incredible to me. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, you take break after break. And then every time you come back, your doctrine is worse and worse. Uh, one could wonder who you meeting with. Well, one, one can wonder who has persuaded you. Uh to believe such things to the point to where you're just going to come out of the woodwork and teach it. Um, but hey, you know, but what I want to do is I want to just go ahead and uh, get a few precepts. You know what I'm saying? It's not uh, more about him. It's just more about, hey, man, brothers that's coming in. Hey, it's examples of how to be and it's examples of how not to be. What you do with that information is de totally dependent upon you. All right. Well, this is uh, the brother uh, Karacha Zayad in Vegas, up and coming elder. You know what I'm saying? And uh, his video, his video, uh, I, I watched the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I knew he was going to find that part. <laughs> it's a part of the video where he was like, no, nah, I'm going to go ahead and cut it since I can't find it. But Spirit stayed on there, brother, and he found the part. And that's the part that I want to start with, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just to back the brother up, back up the apostles and elders, you know what I'm saying? To, to, to back up the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right? These dudes told you they was finna quit. Let me try to look for a little, a little longer, and if I can't catch it where he actually said it, then I'll just, uh, you know, I'll leave the link, man. Let me. Uh, That's that stick to it, this man. Patience. Good job, bro. Straight up. The God should bring every work into judgment, brother. The God should bring every work into judgment, every single thing, brother. Shalom. 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 And you see, that's that, that, and that's another thing, man. That's another thing, man. You have to understand the balances, the balance of hastening in the day, man. You see, I'm not finna see the parent act like that dude don't want to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? He probably said that in sincerity. You see, but you, this thing is this. This is for the long haul, man. This is for the long haul. You just sat up there and told everybody that you wasn't gonna be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? And then, now you might have painted it or colored it with salvation or deliverance, but that's what I'm saying. You left. What you thought was going to happen didn't. You came back. You see, and when you do those type of things, when you, when you don't properly hasten in the day, you can burn yourself out and become bitter. You see? 
You had to tell brothers all the time. You have, Every time a brother see a news article, this is it, this is it. You know what I'm saying? The brother getting bottles of water and looking for his backpack and shit. Like, bro, stop. You know what I'm saying? And, we, and, and that's what I'm saying. Doing that day after day after day. I'm going to tell you like this. If you think the end of the world is going to happen 365 straight days and it don't, that's going to fuck with you, bro. That's going to fuck with you. It's supposed to because you're not, you out of order. You see? But he's telling you, he's telling you. This nigga with his fake ass uh, snake staff, like he, like he Moses or somebody, man. Get the hell out of here, man. Look at this dude. Didn't have no garment on or nothing. He was ready. To, he was ready to go back into the portal, man. Look at it. Let me let me back this up because now you now I, I, I've actually found it. So let me bring that back. He he, prophes- he prophesied against himself, man. And I remember brothers did videos on this. You know, a few years ago. I remember that too, bro. There was nowhere nowhere to be seen after that. And that time, when that time comes, we're not out here no more. And I noticed our time with deliverance. There's going to come a time. I'm saying that's how you know the Lord ain't dealing with dudes like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a, a watchman, a watchman wouldn't say nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? When you hear us talk about the famine of the word, it's because that's prophesied that it's going to come a time to where you're not going to be able to uh, hear the word. But this right here seems like he's just talking about them. You see, he's not talking about the Lord coming to deliver and all that. He just saying, <laughs> he just saying, look, it's going to come a time where you ain't going to see us. You know what I'm saying? And that time has come more than once. OK, which would make you a wise, uh, a foolish virgin. You see, you got the wise version and you got the foolish version. You see, the foolish versions are the ones that pop up out of the woodwork and, you know, where the oil at? I need some of your oil. Let me get some whenever they think that the destruction is coming. No, 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 no. Stick with it, bro. You got to stick with it. You know, we have to watch and pray. Those are our instructions, right? But when you hasten in the day improperly, you're going to get caught out there, man. You see, I was say, how you going to quit two or three times? Fuck out of here, bro. They asking you that now. You know what I'm saying? And I went and checked your page. Yep, because of course we do that. You know what I'm saying? You go from a couple of weeks ago to a whole year ago. You know what I'm saying? Then from that one year to three years ago. From that three years to a four year jump. That's what I'm saying. So you come out whenever you feel. And you stop whenever you feel. That's not showing the fear of the Lord. Or nothing, man. I mean, I mean, I guess it is what it is with you. If that's how you're going to roll. But for you to just come up out of the woodworks and try to attack men that been doing it. I don't know how you think that's going to work. That's what I'm saying. What, what, what's your end game? That's what I'm saying. Because at the end of the day, man, all you do is just coming out the woodwork and trying to debunk this and debunk that. That's what I'm saying. What's your purpose? What's your goal? You know what I'm saying? Because obviously you ain't in it for the long haul. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, what's your goal, my nigga? Yeah, I called you a nigga. What's your goal, my nigga? Straight up. You know what I mean? You come in and you come out and you think you're, you're, you're an elder, but you don't know what the hell you're talking about. It don't make no sense, bro. It don't make no sense. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get some scriptures. You know what I'm saying? I just want to play that. Uh, yeah, I want to play that. All right. So now let's get the let's get the wise versions and the foolish versions. Try to make this quick. You know what I'm saying? Just hit on the point on all these different parables. You know what I'm saying? All right. This is uh, Matthew 25 and 1. It says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps, and went forth to meet the bridegroom, and five of the virgins, uh, and five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. That's what I'm saying. So he, when he went back into the world on his break, he didn't take his lamp. You see, he didn't take his lamp. He put his lamp down so he could go do whatever it was that he was doing. I'm not gonna make no assumptions. I just know he wasn't doing the work because I'm looking at the videos and I can tell through the spirit. All right. It says that what uh that they were foolish they t- uh they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps, 
While the rye groom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, right? And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But you never took care of the lamp. You didn't continue to toil. You see? You didn't continue to study to show yourself to be approved. No, no, no. You wanted to do other shit. And you went and did other shit. You see, but now that you see these prophecies popping off, you thinking that it might be close to the end. So now you want to dust off your garment right now, you see, and instead of coming back and just humbling yourself and listening, because my thing is, if you leave, if you leave the work and come back, bro, just find somebody to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody is able to repent. Everybody's able to repent, but you can't turn your back on the plow and then come back talking shit. Do you know what kind of pride that exhibits, man? Do you know how offensive that is to the Lord? Here it is. You just said, you know what, Lord, I'm going to turn my back. I'm going to go do what I want to do. And then you come back and then change the doctrine. Oh, ugh, boy, you dudes got some stones, boy. Oh, my goodness. It says, and the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out. And the reason why your lamp is gone out, because you never tended to it because you wanted to do other stuff. Right. It says, but the wise saying, not so, least there be not enough for us and you. That's what I say. So ain't nobody going to get delivered. If we uh, take heed to you, you wasted your oil. You did what you wanted to do with your oil. We wanted to put our oil on your Howard shot. You see, we want to put our oil on your Howard shot through the spirit and power of your Howard. Right. It says, least there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell. And buy for yourselves. Get this get this truth on your own, man. You see? Now you're in a position where you got to get it on your own. And you already turned your back on true understanding. So I don't know how that's going to work. For, well, actually, I do know how that's going to work for you. You're going to get destroyed. That's what's going to happen. You rusty plow carrying Barabbas freeing. Oh, man. That's what I'm saying, man. Y'all really think y'all really think that y'all going to not have to deal with the Lord when he come back. It says, and while they went, uh, while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. See, that's what I'm saying. The door is getting shut on you people, man. The door is getting shut on you people, man. Jake want to go back into the world and come back and straddle the fence and not look. The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. All right? It says, afterwards came also other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I know you not. You see, and that's what's going to happen to a lot of people, man. And knowing that that's going to happen to some people is a fearful thing, man. So you want to make sure that you're on top of your game when it comes to uh, um, uh, worshiping and making your body a living sacrifice and, 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 and being meat for repentance when the Lord come back. Because it's obviously telling you that the, it's going to be people that's going to be meat for repentance when the Lord come back. And there's going to be people that he going to tell you, I never knew you, man. Those are the two people. That one said, those wise virgins, the Lord is going to bring in. And those foolish virgins, the Lord going to say, I never knew you, man. You see? Watch therefore, for ye know it, neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. And the fact that you don't know, need, you damn sure need to make sure that you on top of it. You see, Jacob always want to turn their back on the plow when they think they got time. You see, but when they see their time starting to get cut short or when they get jacked up or something like that, now all of a sudden, you see, so it's best to just have integrity from, from jump, man. You see, trying to trying to pinpoint when the Lord coming so you can get yours in and do this and do that is going to get you destroyed, man. It don't work like that. Okay. Stop trying to put a time limit on the Lord. He, it already told you that his time don't add. Uh, our time don't add up to his time. So if you're going to try to time it perfectly, you're going to lose. And then you have a, co a whole congregation that's doing the same thing, man. You see? Now, when you do come back, all the Israelites got to be black, which that's stupid as hell. You see? You ain't doing nothing but uh, cheapening your credibility the more you open your mouth, man. What you need to do is listen to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and get this understanding of why you can or not. Those are your options. You see? It says, for the kingdom of heaven is in, uh, let me see. Yeah, for the kingdom of heaven is, a, is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered them unto his goods. And unto him, okay, well, we going, well, matter of fact, yeah, yeah, I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to keep on going in this chapter. This another, this another one. Yeah, yeah, all right. 
It says, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who, uh, who called his own service and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his ser uh, several ability, and straightway took his journey. It says, Then he that received the five talents and traded with the same, and made them other five talents, right? Meaning he flipped the talent, meaning he continued to study, he continued to grow in this thing, right? It says, and likewise, he that had received two, he also gained two more. So he flipped his with the portion of the dispensation that was given to him. You see, like Obadiah, Obadiah had one chapter, but he flipped that thing so many times. You see, then you have Jeremiah. Jeremiah had a bigger dispensation. He had a bigger portion, right? Each prophet had his own portion, you see? But each portion, whatever is given to you, you're supposed to double it in the time that the Lord, before the Lord comes back. It says, but he that had received one and digged it in the earth and his uh, and hid his Lord's money. And that's what this nigga from Phobie did. You know what I'm saying? The monkey of the month. I don't even think it's going to last a month. You know, the way this dude take breaks. You know what I'm saying? It says, but uh, he that received the one digged into the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord and those servants cometh and reckoneth with him. Right? Cause you had it. That's what I'm saying. You you don't you you've been seeing the work being done. You chose not to do it. You chose to do it when you felt like you do it. You like that dude that say, "Yeah, Lord, I'm gonna go ahead and do everything you told me to do," and then you don't don't do it. You that nigga, right? It says, and so uh, and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, "Lord, thou had uh, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them." Five talents more. So when the Lord come back, he had fruit. You see? And the Lord prayed for the men that he that were given him for them to have fruit and for that fruit to remain. So he, he sent up a special prayer for these men to bring forth fruit. And he gave you talent to bring forth fruit and you didn't? Okay. It says, his Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. You see, basically he's telling you with that little bit of talent that I gave you. Now I see that I can give you more. Now that I see I can give you your reward. You see, so if you don't bring forth no fruit, your reward is not going to be as the reward of a man that brought forth fruit. Think about it. With Cain and Abel, right? Cain brought forth bad fruit. Abel brought forth meat. You see, wise versus foolish. Making sense? All right. It says, he also that received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest me, uh, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents besides them. So a, 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 a brother with a smaller portion still flipped his portion. No matter what the size of your portion, you can still be able to flip it, right? You be, the increase. Well, let's say Paul, uh, Paul, uh, 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 planted uh, Apollo's water, but it's the Lord to give the increase. So you got to you got to tie all these things together, man. And you're not going to be able to tie all these things together if you don't want to if you don't want to be a part of this. If you don't want to be a part of this, why the fuck even come back? You see, what's your motivation for coming back? Did you get paid? You see, you got a new job to do. I, I mean, I, I got to ask these questions. She's just going to pop the fuck up whenever you want to. Right? It ain't like you popped up with an explanation. You don't nobody know where you been. I tell you what. Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai and the angels know where you been. <laughs> His Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the uh, joy of thy Lord. Verse 24 it says, Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an uh, hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast uh, not straw. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast... Uh, Lo, there thou hast that is thine. Right? I was afraid of you, so I didn't do nothing. That don't even make no sense. I was so afraid of you, Lord. I just sat here and didn't do shit. 
Really? <laughs> but her go get t her go your talent though. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, which that's what you are. Thou knewest that I reap where I sow not, and gather where I uh, have not straw. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. You should have you should have had more. Here it is, the guy with five talents. He flipped it. Here it is, the guy with two talents. He flipped it. I gave all y'all the talents at the same damn time. The hell you mean? Don't the scriptures tell you in Isaiah 66 that the slain of the Lord should be many? Verse 28. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him with had, uh, which had ten talents. Yeah, give it to the give it to the give it to the brother that been flipping, that been doing what he's supposed to do. For unto every one that shall uh that has shall for so like it, for unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance, but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. So that little bit of understanding that you was going on break out to break out to break with is gone. You come out of the woodwork after over a year for the second time. Talking about all Israelites got to be black? Bro, you through. You through. You know what I'm saying? You might as well have one of them parachutes, jump out of a plane, and rip the cord and silverware fly out the back of that bitch. You kidding me? <laughs> oh, boy. And cast G, the unprofitable servant, into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You see? It says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you, from the foundation of the world. Right? Right? You see, I'm going uh, I'm to I'm go ahead and cut it right there. I'm going to go ahead and cut it right there. You know what I'm saying? The point was made. You got wise virgins. You got foolish virgins. And you got foolish virgins just talking shit. Without a leg to fucking stand on. And don't worry about my Swahili or French or none of that other stuff. If you don't like this video, fine. Fine. Don't bother me one bit. The vibration is out there. The prophecies are popping. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is sick of this BS. And he's moving. Hard. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakah Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the Akim teaching about the Mayan Wa'amath. That's a sincerity and truth. Shalom.